Hola. Let's talk about demonstrative adjectives and pronouns. What are they when do you use them? You use demonstrative adjectives to point out people or things that are nearby and farther away. A demonstrative adjective always comes before the noun and agrees with it in gender and number. For instance, how much does this ring cost? So this would be a demonstrative adjective, just like in English, it comes before the noun. In Spanish, we would ask, ¿Cuánto cuesta este anillo? Ese anillo cuesta 10 dólares. So ese means that. Aquel anillo es más barato. That ring over there is more inexpensive. Now, aquel is something that we really don't have in English. In English, we generally have this and that. But in Spanish, we have an extra one, aquel, which means that one over there or that thing over there. Okay? Demonstrative adjectives can also be used as pronouns to replace nouns. To distinguish them from demonstrative adjectives, they used to have a written accent mark. And actually, our book brings that old rule. But nowadays, you don't even have to add the accent mark. By the context, since you don't have a noun there, people understand that you're not using a demonstrative adjective, that you're using a pronoun. But you're going to write and you're going to pronounce the very same way. Okay? So, let's see. No me gusta este anillo, pero me gusta ese. So, in the past, we used to put this accent mark here, and ese means that one. So, in English, that pronoun, that demonstrative pronoun, you're going to use the word one. But in Spanish, you're going to use the same way as a demonstrative adjective. Remember, this is a, an old rule to add the accent mark. We are not going to add the accent mark. I put here so you can see. Okay? Ves esas bolsas? Do you see those bags? Me gusta esa. So, here I don't need to say bags again, bolsas, because you know I'm talking about bolsas. So, here I'm using a pronoun. Remember, in the past we used to have this accent mark, but we are not using it. Pero no me gusta aquella. So, now let's see a chart with all the demonstrative adjectives and pronouns. Okay? So, we are going to use this and these when it's close to you. In this case, we use este when it's masculine singular. Esta, feminine singular, estos, masculine plural, estas, feminine plural. So, when something is very close to you, to the person speaking, you're going to use este, esta, estos, estas. But when you say this one or these ones, you're going to use the same word. But in your mind, you know you're saying this one. Este, esta, estos, estas. Estas. If it's far from you, if it's closer to the person you are talking to, you're going to use ese, esa, esos, esas. Same way with the pronouns, no accent marks. But remember, in Spanish, we have that extra one, which means that over there or that one over there. Aquel, aquella, aquellos, aquellas. And the same thing for the pronouns. Well, that's it. I hope that was helpful. Make sure you review this if you need. Adios.